Hey everyone, happy Friday. I just finished work and I am now having my my almond butter Greek yogurt blueberry parfait. And it's got little bits of um, flaxseed and granola. It is so good. And so this is what I'm having for lunch today. And I am watching Ghost Adventures. And yeah. And I've also had two prunes. <laughs> howdy, howdy. So I am showered and dressed, and it's kind of late. It's 2.35. And I'm looking out the window, and I can see raindrops on the window. So I'm sure it's cold outside. It's cloudy, the wind is blowing. And I decided to wear capris, and I was gonna wear flip-flops, and now it's too cold, and now my whole outfit, I don't know what to do. It's all about the shoes, you know what I mean? Dollar Tree chicken crackers. They're so good. Um, I still have some broccoli salad left, but I'm just plumb over it. I just don't feel like broccoli salad right now. But I want to eat it because I don't want to waste it. There's just a little bit left, but oh well. So this shirt is from Target from like, I don't know, seven, six years ago. And I just hardly ever wear it. I like it. I just forget about it. So I decided to wear it today. And I have this little necklace that Lori D gave me last year. It's a little kitty kitty. And then I made this. And then this gold chain is my mom's. So I just wear it every day. I'm starving. I don't know what to do today. Like, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anything I need to do. Well, actually I do. I have to go to my mom's. It's, you know, it's the end of April almost and we have got to sell that house. I mean, we actually have a buyer. Their neighbors are gonna buy it and they're gonna rent it. And they were so close to my mom and stepdad. They were like family and so um, we're happy to sell it to them. But we got get it cleared out a lot of stuff's in boxes but like you've seen in last videos I have a lot of work like I have to clean out some more closets upstairs and we still have to clean out under the house Ugh. I'm just and last night I started crying because it's just so overwhelming um, I just, it's like, how am I going to do all this? What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? I don't want to get rid of everything at Goodwill because I feel bad giving everything away, but I need to give it away. And I thought about having a yard sale, but I don't even want to go through all that, taking everything outside. There's just so much. So I started crying last night because I'm just scared and overwhelmed and I don't know what to do. So anywho, I gotta put this, my arm is tired. Selfie stick! I'm already in my bedroom. Um, let me 
turn. I don't know why I don't use this more often, man. I can just show you everything. Um, but like I was saying, Daryl and I are actually going to go to my mom's tomorrow and do some work. Daryl's going to do some yard work. I'm going to clean out some more closets. I don't know. It's just... Ugh, I can't talk about it anymore. So, anywho... I'm watching Ghost Adventures. And this is going to be the most boring vlog ever. I'm really sorry. I'm having a little bit of my haagen Crispy Trio layers of white chocolate and raspberry sauce, lemon and raspberry ice cream. Just like my donuts, I like to eat my ice cream out of the container with a fork. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm the only one eating this. This is good. Needs to be more lemony though. But it's good. It tastes, actually it just tastes like a raspberry cheesecake ice cream. But I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. So, I think this video is just going to be a big fat muck, but mukbang. Alright, I don't know where to go today, you guys. I don't want to go to the Dollar Tree because I don't need anything. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But I put my makeup on, so I want to go somewhere. Okay. Run away to the Walmart. Don't ask me why. I don't need anything, but it's Friday. And I've got to get out of this house and do something fun. And that usually means some kind of shopping. And yes, I need to go to the grocery store and get another prescription. Um... Daryl's doctor, his new one, had to refill all his new prescriptions, and he forgot one. So it's ready today. And anyway, let me over, good. So we will be going there today. So we're just going to look around at the Walmart. I'm steering clear of the cable lady, the, the Comcast cable lady or whoever, whatever cable company she works for. She caught me. She likes to stand out there by the candle wax and the wax melts and the candles. She caught me. I'm just like, Ugh. so she comes up to me with this line, don't you just love candles? And I was like, yes, but not when you're here. So anyway, I was like, yeah, I love this one here, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, so what, what, who do you have for your TV company cable, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I played dumb. I'm like, my, my husband handles all that. I really don't know. And she's like, okay. I'm all sorry. She was nice though, but I was not in the mood to be solicited. I just was not. Alright.
all the pretty Pioneer Woman stuff. It's so pretty. guys the last one it's a strap on unicorn horn that lights up that's hilarious we are out of the Walmart Oh my goodness. Now I'm trying to get out of the grocery store parking lot. I just picked up Daryl's prescription. I swear everybody goes shopping on Fridays. Um, so at Walmart, I didn't even have a cart. I just walked around and I ended up getting a pair of like knit sports capris their wide leg and I thought they were on sale for seven dollars or something but they rang up nine so whatever I spent two dollars more than I was expecting and then I got a workout shirt it's an Avia the pants were Avia also but it's black and it's that really thin material that dries really easily and it was on sale for five dollars and I had bought one just like it in gray a couple weeks ago and it was not on sale and it was eight something so anyway I didn't want black because it gets hot but it was only five dollars and it'll feel nice it'll be okay like when the Sun goes down and stuff and then I'm walking so so yeah and then I got some wooden beads. I went into the craft section and saw their beads. And this was the last one. They're wooden, like $1.67. This was the very last one, or else I would have grabbed more. But I've never seen the wooden ones before, so that was kind of fun. So that's what I got. And oh my gosh, I am so hungry. 
there's all these restaurants around here and I could smell their french fries. Um, so I guess I'm done. It's 4.54, so I'm just gonna go home, I guess. I don't, I don't need to spend any more money. I'm tired. I think I just need some grub, bub. All right, so here are the pants that I got. They are just, you know, knit. And they're wide leg and they just, they just go between my kneecap and my ankle. But these I wanted to wear, cause I like these. I just like to wear these around the house and in the summertime and when I go walking and it's too cold for shorts but too hot for sweats. And then here's this shirt that I got, $5. This was so nice. So it's got netting on the bottom and then longer sleeves and then netting on along the sleeve line. So. And I have a gray one, just like it. So these were $9.96 and this shirt was normally $8.86 on sale for five. It was on the clearance rack. Yeah, their Avia stuff is really nice. I remember I used to wear Avia tennis shoes when I would go to aerobics. <laughs> yes, I went to aerobics back in the 90s. Um, like three to four days a week. I loved it. And then I got married and that was the end of that. I just got lazy and never did it again. And now look at me. So anyway, that's what I got at the Walmart. Oh, and the beads. Well, I'm having my broccoli salad. I'm so hungry and this tastes so good. The bacon got a little boingy, um, but it's still okay. But yeah, I don't think this would last past tomorrow, so I have to eat it today. And I don't think it'll last past today, so. It's so good. Same thing. We all know. My big girl, do you want to come on in? Do you think Sissy's gonna come? We don't think so. Okay, come on in. Come on in, Momo. Yes, come on. She's she's being cautious because she doesn't want me to manhandle her <laughs> and make her do the dance, huh? Yeah, it's my big girl. Oh boy.
everybody, welcome to the closet. Um, it is quarter to nine, and I got my jammies on. Come on in again. Here comes the Momo again. Yeah, you're my big girl. Come here. Why don't you want to be dancing for our customers? Yeah, come on up. Oh, bye. <laughs> Shake it, but don't break it. I love you. Okay. Um. So I was burning one of my candles, you know, my peppermint, my peppermint rosemary, and there's like this much left in the jar. And it's to the point now where it doesn't smell like anything but waxy soot or sooty wax. So I'm done with that. Even if I were to melt it and put it in a, in my Scentsy, it just wouldn't, it's, the smell is gone. Let's just say that. The smell is gone. So I've got to let that cool down. I'm going to put it in my empties pile. And then I also have this to put in my empties pile. Mm. This is the scent, the wax melts that I get at Walmart. Oh my gosh. I should just carry this like an oxygen mask. And just sniff it all the time. This is the Rosemary Spearmint. It is... Heavenly and divine. My stepdad and my mom used to grow spearmint in their garden. They had a big patch of it around their pear tree. And it smelled so good. Um, especially right after you pick it. You know, you get the oils going and it just smelled so, so good. Mm. They used to pick it and then sell it to a grocery store. They, I think they used to sell it to... Dan's food store and then Harmon's after that and they also grew basil for years and every summer they would pick the basil bunch it get it prepared bag it and then take it to the Harmon's where my mom used to always shop in her neighborhood and they would sell it there it was pretty awesome it was a lot of hard work but they had they made good money doing that. A lot of fun summer play money. But anyway, this just reminds me of the spearmint in their garden. So this needs to go in the empties pile. So here are the cute beads that I got from Walmart today. Let me show you with the light on. They're so cute. They're just they look darker on the camera than they really are, but let's see here. Here they are in my hand, and they're super light, and I just love them. I just love them, and I think they will be so cute with turquoise beads or some little white cream colored beads and even with those the turtle beads that I have and the elephant beads I think they'll be so cute I don't know we'll see but I think they'll just be a fun summertime necklace or bracelet Walmart has great beads they really do and these these are bigger, so you don't get as many. I think they were $1.67. I totally lost my receipt today. But, um, they have really nice beads for a good price. So, you know, in the bulk stuff. So, yeah. If you can't find something at some cute little seed beads at Robert Robert's, um, Michael's, try going to the Walmart. Um, yeah, I like them. I like them. I tried on my, my pants today from Walmart, 
and they're awesome. They fit great. I love the length. I love the width. They're just going to be nice. So comfortable. And then I tried on the shirt and it is so cute. I'm so glad I got it. And it looks so cute together. Um, did I show you the gray one? I don't even remember if I showed you any. Here's the gray one that I got. And then they had like a royal blue color or kind of like a a TARDIS blue or a bright blue. And then they had white. But they were either in small or extra large or large, no mediums. And the larges were huge. So um, I didn't get any of the other colors, but I just love these. I could totally wear these tomorrow when I go to my mom's to clean out her house, and I thought about it, but this is, I don't want to snag this, you know, it's kind of like that soft nylon-y fabric, and I'm just afraid that I would snag it on something, and then I'd be upset. <laughs> so I kind of want to wear grubs. Oh, I'm just scratching my booby. Um, I just want to wear scrubbies, but... I don't know. Do, do, do. Where's Sissy? I don't think she's coming. I don't think she's coming. Oh, I love you so much. She's so precious. She's so precious. She's so precious. <sighs> Tell the world how precious you are. She's like, no. They already know. And I keep looking at this. Remember I bought this for Christmas at Burlington Coat Factory. It's polyester and it's black with polka dots and white kitties. I just think this is so cute and I can wear a little cardigan over it. It's so cute. But I just had to have it. I think it was like 12 bucks, but I had to have it. I had to. It's got cats. Anywho. Oh, and I have to show you the super cute cat shirt I got. It's just a t-shirt, but I got it at Walmart. Space cats. Oh, yeah. Isn't that so cute? I washed it and it smells so good. But I just love it. So, anywho, I don't know when I'll really wear it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could totally wear it on Sunday when we go to my dad's house. Um, yeah. And these kind of look cute with it. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> These are what I got at Target. I haven't even tried them on yet. But I'm sure they're good. They smell good. Well. Well, well, well. Um... Alright, I was just thinking maybe I should start doing one pouch each night. Do you want to, to make closet time more fun? Okay. Alright, well, we'll do these two top ones tonight. So in this pouch, I keep my chili towelette, my chili towel. It keeps you refreshingly cool for hours. And it's what you do is you take this out and get it wet and then it turns cold and it stays cold and damp for hours. Um, look at the dust. I could totally take this on my walks. You just put it around your neck like a scarf. And it never gets stinky or moldy. 
it never gets, you know, that mold or mildew smell. It's, and it's still totally damp in here. And yeah, it smells fine. I got this at Hallmark, at the Hallmark shop a couple years ago for Daryl for Father's Day or something. I don't know. And he never used it. I figured he could use it when he was mowing the lawn, but now I can use it. But it's just something nice to have. I think it was on sale for like seven bucks or something. So, and then in this pocket, I have some no slip grip um, rubber bands for my hair. I have a bag of these um, little things. I got these at Sally's Beauty Supply. They're just, you can put little creams in here or eyeshadow pigments or whatever, beads. But I just had to have them. I don't know. And then this is also kind of the same thing. I got this, I think, at the Dollar Tree. It was a pack of these. And these would make really good bead containers. Except you'd have to be careful taking the lids off because they're really hard to take off and your beads might go flying everywhere. And then in here I got these for my birthday. And these were from my BFF's little boy. And they are so cute. They're cat lady bandages. And you get a free prize inside. I wonder if I already grabbed the prize or if I left it in. I don't even remember. I think I might have taken the prize out, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, no, the prize is in there. It's like Cracker Jacks. Ah, check that out. It's a cow getting sucked up into a UFO. This must be a tattoo. That's hilarious. Yep, it's a tattoo. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is classic. Does that not look like Lola being sucked up in there? Oh my heck, this is the best tattoo ever. I'm never going to use it because I want to save it forever. That's awesome. So, yep, here are my band-aids. And I guess they look like that. Super cute. Super cute. And let's see, the last thing in the pouch, this is empty. It was a Strivectin neck cream. It was just a little sample size that I had gotten and um, I used it and I liked it, but I wanted to keep the jar because I thought it would be useful, but I think I might chuck it because I've got so many other little jars now that this just... But it's a good size. But I need to stop collecting things. I don't want to be a hoarder. I don't want to save things like this if I don't really have to. So this is going to go bye-bye. So anyway. Put this all back. See, I don't even need all this stuff. All right. Well, that was five minutes of time that you'll never get back. Sorry. <laughs> it's like there's nothing good up there. But it is what it is. All right. Well, I'm going to head off. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I feel like I have cat hair on me. I just love you. And thanks to all of you who have left super nice comments. I just, I love you and I love reading my comments. You guys are so sweet. I have the best, best subbers, customers in the whole wide world. And they are you. And I appreciate you and I just love you. I just wanted to let you know that. And... Momo's meowing at me. I gotta go. <laughs> so have a wonderful sleepy and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night everybody. Okay guys. The last
planet to strap on unicorn horn.